in the same place, throw in the other place. Same place, you turn up here for you, they got his shop and go back in behind the shop. He turned in there, Andy, right there. Yeah. started on loading and we got the next one backing over there so as soon as he's backed in there I'm gonna swing in there and get ready to back over so we're gonna unload this and then get the reload uh, southeast of here and then reload steel for New York tomorrow so stay tuned enjoy the video
back in here in here soon as I need to swing to the right so as soon as he gets out of here well, we can be on our way off just put them on their trailer the donage boards we're all ready to move again a little bit of snow laying around here and there but it's mostly gone up here It's so nice to haul for these guys, you know, you're in and out, in and out, no messing around. Good crane operators, washing equipment off over here, this John Deere tractor. I don't know how many cows they have here, but decent sized dairy. TMC, you got a copy over there? You guys want to come up to this driveway? They probably don't have their radios turned on or something. up here and a bunch of uh, turbines in the distance they are all over the place up here in this area up on the, the ridges I don't know if you can really see them but we've got them all around us
need some new bunker walls too. All broken up and pushed around. I might know somebody that can get them some. Stopped in at the Loves for some coffee, used the restroom, and now we're gonna head the rest of the way to our reload. A little cloudy up here, but nice day. area too because there was a bunch of Amish guys in there buying breakfast. Me off about it is 
so they try to force e-logs on everybody, right? Like everything, everything's supposed to be electronic now. They want to move to everything electronic. But then you get a, a citation for not having a paper log in your truck. Like that just kind of, just kind of ticked me off. And another thing you need to have, which I had on my phone as well, and it's on the Garmin, is a, if you have an, an e-log, you need to have an instruction sheet. So whatever kind of e-log you have, you need to have the instruction sheet that tells you how to run the e-log, how to transfer the files, when the DOT officer asks you for, you know, your logs. He wants to see your, your uh, daily logs, then you need to have an instruction sheet that tells you how to transfer them to his, you know, however he wants to transfer them. You can, you know, you, you can do it by email. I mean, on the Garmin, you can do email. You can do uh, uh, a USB, like a, you can get a USB, uh, uh, like, yeah, I'm drawing a blank here, flash drive, or whatever, plug it in the port. But I tried to email them to it, and I was fumbling around a little bit because it was the first time I did it. So I tried to email them to it, and it didn't go through. So then that was my fault. Brady gave me an email address. I hit send, and it didn't. It didn't go. So I don't know what you know. I don't, I don't know what was going on. I said that's how I can transfer it to you. That's how I was told to do it. You know, if you guys ask for them, I was told email. So then he wrote me up a warning for that too, not knowing how to run my e -log. And the thing that's so upsetting okay. about that is, yeah. even though it didn't work to transfer the files to his computer in his car, all he had to do, all I had to do was take take it off the mount, give it to him, and he could flip through it, like you could see it right in front of him. But still, I get a warning for that, you know, and it's on our record. So just wanted to share that. That's why you see me buy a couple daily logs this morning. And stuff like that. Things like that just annoy me, you know. They uh, force the e-logs on them, and then, and then you get a citation for not having a paper log in your truck. What are we getting ourselves into here? We'll be all right. We've reached our destination. Just gonna go up a hill. A big hill, the way it looks. But yeah, we're kind of in the woods here. But we'll be all right. Just get this reload secured and uh, head back to Lancaster County. And like I said, I gotta go load steel for tomorrow as well. So it'll be a full day. Head out early again tomorrow. Yep, doing a little off-roading. So it's pretty steep here, so we gotta keep moving. I mean, you probably can't really tell in the video, but it is really steep. Hopefully we don't start spinning. Usually as long as they're not, you know, you know as long as there's not like a bunch of loose gravel and stuff that causes the truck to spin out, I'm usually fine, but there's not, yeah, there's not a bunch of loose dirt and gravel here. It's pretty solid, so we'll be all right. There's a mountain there and a, a real drop off there, so we definitely don't want to go down over that edge. Couple of them loaded, so I'm gonna start strapping a while. It's a little dirty up here. Oh, we got another dog. Nice. Come here, bud. Come here. Don't worry. I'm. You can trust me. You can trust me. There we go. Okay, so we got loaded up. Here at the quarry. We got 
14 skids on. Ready to head back. Gotta crawl down here in second gear. Put the jakes on. Guys, we made it down here and we're getting unloaded. Got half of it off, and then we're gonna go drop the trailer and it's gonna get loaded with steel tonight. All right, bluestones unloaded and everything, so now we're just pulling in here to drop the flatbed and they're gonna load the steel up. I'm gonna go home. This is only about 10 minutes from my house, so I'm gonna take the truck home. You know, that way I don't have to wait here until they load the steel because it can be kind of time consuming sometimes. So they're going to get her loaded up. It's about 3.30 now. Probably take them two hours or so. And then I'll come by in the morning, pick it up, and head up to New York. Middletown, New York. Trailer unhooked. Sitting back here. 
and they're going to load some kind of, uh, oh man, C channel type of stuff. It's about 41,000 pounds, so we're not going to be heavy or anything like that. Like I said, I only got about 10 minutes to get home, so that's nice. Come back here around 3 in the morning, get the load strapped down, and uh, up to New York. Alrighty, guys, we're almost back at the house here, so let's wrap up this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, tomorrow we're going to be delivering that steel, and then we're going to be hauling stone back, flagstone back again. So... The next video is going to be a load of trees. This time of the year we start hauling some trees again. Just, just local stuff out of Schoolville County. So That'll be the next video. Show you guys kind of how that process works. It's, it's, it's a slow process, but it's interesting. And you know, like I said, time consuming, but it's kind of interesting seeing how they load and unload them and all that good stuff. So look for that video next week hey thanks for watching guys appreciate it hopefully you enjoyed the content here and uh we'll see you next time what's going on i missed you guys no. oh you're eating yeah. but i'm not eating you're not eating what are you doing working in the flower beds mm -hmm.